the biggest news of 2022 has to be Ukraine winning the Eurovision Song Contest. Putin's invasion of Ukraine meant that Russian athletes were banned from competing in all major sporting events this year, which came as a huge shock because ordinarily Russian athletes are banned for doping. Will Smith was banned from the Oscars for 10 years for slapping Chris Rock at this year's ceremony and because he hasn't played anyone other than Will Smith in every film he's ever been in. The world's 8 billionth person was born this year. Congrats in advance to Nick Cannon, Future, Boris Johnson and Elon Musk as statistically it's one of theirs. Elon Musk initially tried to back out of the deal to buy Twitter for $44 billion, but to no avail. It's not the first time unsuccessfully pulling out has cost Musk a ton of money. This trust became the United Kingdom's shortest serving Prime Minister, clocking in at 45 days. She was outlasted by a lettuce in a blonde wig. However, there was one vegetable that outlasted both of them, called Boris Johnson. The Queen celebrated her platinum jubilee and then died. Some people waited 24 hours to see the Queen's coffin. However, the longest wait recorded was 73 years. Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield skipped the queue and the public were furious. They then decided to read the room and make amends by giving members of the same angry public the opportunity to play a game and win prizes, including having their energy bills paid for this Christmas. Lovely gesture. Rishi Sunak became the United Kingdom's third Prime Minister of the Year and our first ever Indian Prime Minister after winning the Tory leadership race against no one. It would have been a momentous occasion had anyone in the United Kingdom actually voted for him. In the United States, the Supreme Court overturned Roe v Wade, meaning the Supreme Court said that it is not for a group of men in this Supreme Court to decide whether abortion should be legal across America. It's for a group of men in each individual state to decide. Kanye West said that Jewish people run everything and subsequently was kicked off Instagram by Mark Zuckerberg due to the public outrage of the World Cup being held in Qatar. Football fans and players had to pretend they're not homophobic. Just Stop Oil decided to reduce car emissions by causing traffic jams on the motorway. Train strikes went too far. And Andrew Tate was surprised that sending a video to a young girl online got him arrested. Knowing my luck, I'll upload this review of 2022. And shortly after, Vladimir Putin will detonate a nuclear bomb. Meaning my review will not include the most important occasion of the year. And I'll feel like an idiot. Happy New Year.